just be natural. Just be natural. It's a vlog with a guy <laughs> holding the camera. Vanessa. Just be natural. Vanessa, get in the shot. <laughs> she's, gonna she's gonna introduce you. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. And welcome back to my channel. You guys are watching Hook Down Brook. And I want to introduce my sister-in-law, Vanessa. Hi. <laughs> Tonight we are going garfish spotting. So we're gonna drive around in the darkness with a spotlight, catching garfish with a net. And, and some bees. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. And um, maybe we'll do a catch and cook too, because uh, garfish are actually pretty tasty. So we'll see if that happens later. But stay tuned if you want to see us two getting crazy on the deck. Ninja! It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Oh, Alright, the mad task of scaling these guys. Messy. I'm gonna cut the heads off and then we can get to flattening these guys out in preparation for cooking. So just get rid of all those scales. So find the bum hole, get a nice sharp knife, hold it in your hands, probably the easiest, and just gently run the blade up. This isn't very sharp, this knife. Run it up, get a nice butter knife, put him back down on the table, start from the butt and push the gut contents towards the front which pretty much helps you get rid of the black lining and then just scrape it down which is fairly clean at this stage don't don't worry that you're tenderizing the meat because I'm about to roll them out flat so let's go over it make sure she's got no scales on her So now we want to clean the inside of the fish out. I usually run my fingernail along here and then peel off any of the belly flap stuff. And now's a good time to feel over the fish and see if it's got any scales left on it. Okay, up in this corner here, just pinch the edges, get rid of that brown stuff, black stuff. Pinch the end. Mm, a good shape off. So as you can see that I've Cleaned, I've beheaded them, scaled them, gutted them, washed them off in the sink so they're fairly clean now. 
Now next step of the process is to cut this little bit of the tail off and flatten them out. So I'm going to demonstrate on this guy because he's nice and big. The little ones are a little bit more fiddly. Um, you can still do exactly the same thing but they do get a little bit mushy. So to demonstrate on this guy. So I'm going to cut the tail off, cut down this little bit here so it's going to flatten out as well. Now we're going to place him belly down, grab your rolling pin, oh yeah, you can hear the bones crunching. Flatten him out. Now the small ones have much smaller bones and they pretty much disintegrate. I like the medium sized sort of ones. Big ones still do have the bones on the sides here but they should melt pretty good too. So now I'm going to cut this backbone out, it's going to grab my knife. Cut down here, just so it comes out nice and neatly. You can just rip that out without cutting it, but it does mess up the, the fillet a fair bit. So, next step, just going to grab that backbone there and then peel it out. Simple. That's your backbone, and then there's your nice fillet. fish with butter, put a little dollop in the pan there, let that heat up. This here is my absolute favourite coating, tendaco, light fish seasoning. This nice big guy, I'm just going to dry him off a bit first. our fish into the seasoning, protein mix, get him nice and coated, As you can see there is a lot involved in prepping these garfish the way I like to cook them but it's so much fun getting out there on the boat scooping them up and not using a fishing rod for a different change so yeah lots of prep but they are very very delicious so it's definitely worth trying this out That fish looks fairly cooked through now. I'm going to turn it over and just quickly do the other side. That is nice and crispy and golden there. Perfect. Switch her off. That is looking very, very delicious, guys. The tricky part is getting it out of the pan. Probably should have a spatula, but I don't. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's that's good. There you have it guys. From start to finish, beautiful pan fried. Let's tuck in and see what it's like. This is one of the bigger garfish that we caught. So it'll be interesting to see how bony it still is because I do prefer the medium sized ones. Small ones are quite fiddly and kind of not worth it. Medium size are perfect. These ones have a little bit bigger bones. You can see them kind of sticking out there. But it's kind of like whiting where they just 
kind of disintegrate when you're cooking them. So let's give this a try. Mm. The bones are just bearable. So definitely prefer the medium sized ones, but that is still delicious. Thanks for watching this episode guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I had so much fun chasing these garfish last night and cooking them up and they do taste delicious. So make sure you give it a try. All right guys, thanks for watching this episode. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one.